What's up everybody, it's AJ with eTrader.com. Today we're going to be checking out this automatic changeover regulator from JR Products. What this is going to do is it's going to help you obviously regulate the propane in your rig, but it's automatically going to switch over when one tank's down. So right now the lever's pointed to this tank. When this one reaches its end, it's automatically going to switch over to this one. That way when you come back out here next time, you can switch the lever over to primarily focus on this one and you can replace this one without worrying about any gas escaping or anything like that but continue to have propane let's check it out a way it helps you figure out which tank is empty is this gauge here i'm going to open up this propane and you'll see the gauge will turn to green let you know that this one has propane in it. so it's sensing that it has propane it's going to be fine there's no reason to change the readout now if i flip it over to this one you're gonna watch it slowly switch over and realize there's no propane in this one because I have the valve shut off. With that in mind, just because it's red doesn't mean both tanks are drained. You wanna switch it over to the other one, you see green, it knows this one's full and you're still good to go and you can replace this one now. Now we worked with two different regulators today. Both of these are from JR Products, but the only difference is this one's a little bit bigger and has extra screw holes. Otherwise, it's the same thing, functions the exact same way. You just want to go with the bigger one if you have more appliances that are drawing propane off of it. So, like I said, you got way more stuff running off it, you're going to need a bigger regulator to regulate the propane. It's going to help you out with both your tanks just the same. Chances are, if you're checking this out, it's time to replace your old one. Here's the old one here, we went ahead and removed that. And you need to do that every 10 years. They recommend it because it's got a rubber diaphragm on the inside that eventually wears out then you're gonna get less pressure. Now that goes the same with your propane tanks. So if you do them at the same time, that'll work out. If you don't replace your propane tanks and you just get them refilled up to 10 years, it's time to get them reinspected to make sure they're still okay to use. So you have to take them to a propane place to get them inspected and approved to use. Another thing to think about when you're gonna replace your regulator is the hoses that go with it. You wanna make sure you get the right ones that have the right connections. We have the inverted connector here. You can see it's smaller then the outside grip, and then we have the NPT connection, and you can see that the threaded part matches the outside grip. So that's an easier way to tell just by looking at it going, oh, okay, the bigger one that comes all the way out to the end, that's NPT, and this is gonna be the inverted. If you look at our regulator, it uses the inverted. So you can just come in here and screw it in that way. If we were going to try and use the MPT, clearly too big, it's not going to thread in there. Looking at the outlet down here, this is going to be sized at 3 8 and it has an FPT connection. So another thing to think about when going in with the lines, you're going to be running to it. Make sure that matches up with the one that goes to your rig. It's pretty straightforward. That's how the regular works and how you would replace it. But how does it install? It was pretty easy. So let's check out how we did it. This is what it's going to look like when you get it. Now we added a bracket to our regulator that JR Products also offers that's on our website because the old bracket wouldn't work with our new regulator. It didn't have, it had four screws in it and the screw spacings didn't match up with this one. This one's an inch apart. So that's something else to look at when you're going to get your replacement, make sure the bracket matches so you can attach it. That way you can attach it over there too. So first off, I put one screw in there already. I'm just going to simply put the second one in. That way we attach the regulator to the bracket. I'll show you the back of the regulator here in a second. You can see it's got the spaces there where the screws go in. So it's as easy as lining the bracket up and screwing it in. We're going to attach our output hose to the bottom here of the regulator. It's easier to do that before you install the regulator because you can easily just spin it like that and attach that bottom hose. Get it nice and tight. Looks good. Now I'm going to set the bracket down on top. There's a hole just for it. And then we'll add our wing nut to hold it in place. Again, want to get it nice and tight. 
because it's going to push down on this bracket and this bracket keeping everything in place. Now we're going to add our other hose. It's easier to screw in this side, which would be our inverted side, first. And then attach this side to the propane tank. You're all set. It really is that simple. It installed very easily. It works great. I like that I can switch over this tank if I need to, but I don't have to. If this tank runs out, it's automatically going to come over here. While I'm inside, I don't have to leave the camper if it's cold. I really like that. It makes it easier, and I know I'm covered for the next 10 years. That does it for our look at this regulator. Hope this helped.